It's a long way from the biggest college football stadiums to tiny Tony, Wisconsin. But it was here on the gridiron of Flambeau High School that a local legend was born. He was a free safety quarterback, special teams, punter, yeah, you name it, he could do it. Jim Leonard, just five feet, eight inches tall, a high school superstar in rural northern Wisconsin, and now a standout for one of the top college football programs in the country. It is a lot different. I mean, coming from a school of 250 kids, you know, to here where there's 40,000, I mean, it's obviously a huge adjustment for you, but I mean, I felt I handled it pretty well, and things are working out really well now. Working out well may be just a bit of an understatement. He still doesn't have a scholarship, but his teammates just named him their most valuable player. In his first season as a starter, Leonard set school records at interceptions and punt return yards, earning him first-team All-American honors from CNN Sports Illustrated. It's really amazing to be rewarded for playing a sport that you love so much to play. So, I mean, I... I haven't really reflected on it a whole lot yet, but it's, it's an amazing honor. I don't know how you could have played any better than he did or be, make more of an impact on a team in as many ways as he did. All I always knew he was a good special athlete. I didn't think that the accolades would quite come this far and had the years that he had this year at the Badgers, but certainly it has been a real pleasant surprise. Up here in Tony, a town of barely 100, the people who know Jim say he always had something special a knack for overcoming his lack of size with pure athletic ability, and perhaps more importantly, with class. When he played at Flambeau, like basketball or football, he, was, he could have easily done all the scoring and nobody would have been mad, but he didn't. He always shared with the other people on the team. Jim just always focused on what he was doing and he played so hard and he's just accomplishing a dream. You know, I don't know if that he ever set goals for himself, but he's always striven to do better. So. You know, this is the ultimate goal at this point. Yeah, it's kind of unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's really amazing that all the people, not only from this area up here, but all over the state of Wisconsin have really, you know, gotten on behind Jim and, and been rooting for him, not only the Badgers. Oh, and a great interception by Jim Leonard, the walk-on. This one is intercepted. Jim Leonard. <laughs> The ball Jim Leonard grew up a bit of a legend in these parts of Wisconsin, dominating the gridiron. Can he throw the ball? Yeah. Can he throw it on a frozen rope? Yeah. Can he do all those kind of things? Yeah. Can he run with the ball? Yeah. I mean, you name it, Jim can do it. So his success with the Badgers really hasn't surprised the folks up here, but it has caught the imagination of just about everyone else in Wisconsin. See, everybody wants a piece of Jim. Everybody wants to tell Jim congratulations and talk about it. You know, they're just so enthused. It's really been wild, you know, with all the mail he gets and the mail that we get from people all over the place. It's been pretty, pretty exciting. So can you just address an envelope to, to Jim Leonard, Tony? <laughs> It'll get yeah, here. yeah, it'll get here. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Most of them, at, you know, everybody at the post office knows who he is and where he lives. And they'll put a sticker on their insufficient address or something, but it'll get to where it's supposed to go. A lot of the fan mail Leonard receives is from people so impressed that a student athlete from such a tiny town can make such an impact at college football's highest level. Does small town make a difference? I don't know. He's just a special kid. A special kid who will bring a cheering section of 25, or about one quarter of his hometown, to San Antonio and the Alamo Bowl. I decided to go because I've never been to a bowl game and and I just have a lot of respect for Jim and so I thought to go down to see that. We're really excited to go and his brother is going and Don and I and aunts and uncles are going. So just how big is the Badgers team MVP in these parts? To, to a point I guess you could call me a hometown hero but I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> They haven't handed you a key of the no, city. No, no, no key of the city. I don't know. I don't think there is one. I don't think that this will ever be something where he will take any of these gifts for granted. I think that he doesn't take this athletic abilities for granted. The scary thing is Badger head coach Barry Alvarez says Jim Leonard is only going to get better during his time here in Madison. If he is indeed right, the legend of Jimmy Leonard may just be starting in these parts. At Camp Randall Stadium, Paul Bloom, NBC 15 News.